A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to Timothy. Please stand for the Gospel Acclamation.
Peter and this rock I will build my church and the powers of death shall not prevail against it. Saint Matthew. Simon Peter replied, You are the Christ, the Son of the Living God. And Jesus answered him, Blessed are you, The feast of St. Peter, your patron saint. I congratulate you also on the many achievements I have heard your school made in various areas since its establishment, first at St. Jude's College. Bryan School of St. Peter's College, Bambla Pitea, in 2003. It continues to grow till today. And the maturity took it to having a sort of independence, if my history, my record is correct, on the 1st of January, 2009, being St. Peter's College, Colombo 4, Negombo Branch. May the Lord continue to guard and guide you in your journey, in your growth. I wish that your school be in the forefront in imparting an integral and holistic education. I hope that you students take good advantage of the opportunity offered to you in this nice school. In the same vein, I remind you teachers not to relent in your duty to impart intellectual knowledge, but also to teach the students to become responsible citizens, aiding them to get an integral human development. It is not only about the intellectual knowledge that you give them, but you have to form the whole human person. 
as the Holy Father Pope Francis often says, they, the students, should be given such values that they may not be carried away by the so-called throw-away culture. In the gospel that we have just heard, we read about what we call the confession of St. Peter. Jesus put the question to him, to the disciples, all of them, who do people say I am? The apostles responded, Some say he is John the Baptist. Some say he is Elijah. And others say Jeremiah, or one of the prophets. They responded what they had heard people say about him. Perhaps they believed so, that he was a great person like those they mentioned but they never thought that he was the Messiah, the Christ. At that moment, therefore, not even the apostles understood who their master really was. They said what they had heard people say about him. But he put another question to them. But you, who do you say I am? It is no longer what do people say about me. Now Jesus asks them. Jesus asks us. What, who do we say he is? according to our own convictions. Peter gave the right answer. You are the Christ, the son of the living God. You are the Messiah that we have been waiting for. As I said, Jesus asked us the same question. Who or even what is Jesus, is Christ for you in your life? We Christians mean, Christian means somebody who follows Christ. And who is he that we follow? We also see what I call the confession of Jesus. After Peter has confessed who Jesus was, Jesus also, in a way, confessed who Peter was. And with that, he formulated the ministry he was going to hand over to Peter. So he said, you are Peter, and on this rock, I will build my church. He confessed who Peter was. Jesus entrusted to Peter, the rock, the duty to be the chief shepherd and guardian of this faith that should be as solid as the rock. Therefore, he also said, I will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven. The keys, the legal possession of keys, he who has the keys can open and close. If he does not open, you cannot enter. So the legal possession of keys, in a way, was, and I still, I still think, is 
a sign of authority. Authority over the particular property. Therefore, Jesus gave Peter the authority to pasture his church and therefore added, whatever you bind on earth shall be considered bound in heaven. Whatever you lose on earth shall be considered loosed in heaven. And who is Peter today? The successor of Peter is the Pope. May we continue to pray that the Lord accompany our Holy Father, Pope Francis, who has the key the way he had accompanied Peter. May the Lord continue to accompany him to carry out proficiently his Petrine. We call it Petrine, which means from Peter. His Petrine ministry in the church. Let us also pray for his good health. As you probably know, he, the Pope, Pope Francis, recently had some health issues. We pray for him. The same way the church prayed unremittently to God for Peter all the time he was under God as we heard in the first reading. Their fathers, staff and students, your patron saint, Saint Peter, is celebrated together with Saint Paul on this great solemnity we call S.S. Peter and Paul. which actually is on the 29th of June, tomorrow, but we are doing it today for the reasons you know. The readings, all the three readings, they are especially the gospel and the second, but all the three readings, invite us to reflect on these two pillars of the church, who in a way complement each other so it is not only Peter, of course, he is a patron saint, but they complement each other, they complete. So by talking about Peter, we cannot fail to talk also about Paul. Peter was the first to confess the moment of passion during which he had denied Christ three times, confirmed the faith of his brothers. And Paul, the zealous, zealous Pharisee, after having persecuted the church, converted on his way to Damascus and became the messenger of the salvation that comes from faith. After all that, the mysterious design of providence took both of them to Rome, where they crowned their apostolate with their blood. In fact, Peter and Paul are indeed two different but complementary figures in the life of the church. This is summarized in, the, in today's preface. And I quote, Peter, our leader in the faith, and Paul, its fearless preacher. Peter raised up the church from the faithful flock of Israel. Paul 
brought your call to the nations and became the teacher of the world. Each in his chosen way gathered into unity the one family of Christ. Before I conclude, I want to say something very particular to you students. I hope you understand what I'm saying. As we had in the second reading, Paul fought to the end. When we are trying to do something good, we have obstacles. We have challenges. Paul compared himself with an athlete. Even when you are tired, you try to run until the end. The same you have to apply in your lives. When you have difficulties, do not be afraid. Continue, even do not be afraid to make mistakes. You try. If you do not try, you cannot learn. So I wish you all to try irrespective of obstacles along the way so that tomorrow amongst you students of St. Peter's College, the Gombo branch, we will have the leaders of tomorrow. And I use the opportunity to congratulate the choir. Uh, you sang Latin, glory, all that. Congratulations. And all those who welcomed me, the wonderful performances, I appreciate all that. And I ask the good Lord to accompany you always as we pray during this celeb Eucharistic celebration. Through the intercession of St. Peter, Prince of the Apostles, and your patron saint, may your school continue to grow from strength to strength. Amen. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light. Through God, from through God, because not man, consubstantial with the Father, through Him all things were made, for us men. For our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, 
Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary. And the man, for our sake, he was crucified on Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures he ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the father he will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead and his kingdom will have no end i believe Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceed from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophet. Catholic and the Apostolic Church. I confess what baptism for the forgiveness of sin. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world. All to come. Amen. God the Father Almighty, dear brothers and sisters, may every prayer of our heart be directed. Fix his will, it is that all humanity should be saved and come to the knowledge of the truth. Your response, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we implore your paternal blessings and enlightenment on our Holy Father, the Pope, bishops, clergy, religious, and the laity to diligently continue the task assigned to St. Peter so that the world may believe that Jesus is the only way, the truth, and life. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, while thanking you for your continuous enlightenment and blessings in the past 20 years of our existence, we implore your mercy and blessings of good health and peace of mind and heart on Reverend Father Leslie Fernando, the father and founder of our college, the past and present directors, management and staff to be faithful to your calling. We pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, we pray for our students for greater commitment towards their academics and other responsibilities and that they may always endeavor to maintain perfect self-discipline amidst erroneous ideologies being propagated in the society. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord we
ඔබගේ පිළිතුර ස්වාමී අපකරණීය ආඥා ආසාව දාන මෙනව उत्साहिंदर O oh God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. For you yourself are the source of all devotion, and grant we pray that what we ask in faith we may truly obtain through Christ our Lord. Amen.
The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere. But to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy therefore this gifts we pray. But sending down your spirit upon them like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the
let us pray. Grant us, O oh Lord, who have been a very good mind to all of you present here today. On behalf of the Peter Raff family, I want to welcome His Excellency, the Most Reverend Dr. Ryan Daigre, the Apostolic Mission to Sri Lanka, Reverend Father Deva Pereira, the Rector of the College, Reverend Father Shalindra Kotikavata, the Vice Rector of the College, Reverend Father Leslie Fernando, the Spiritual Director of the College, Mr. Christopher Pereira, the Vice Principal Primary school, all the Reverend Fathers and Sisters, all the teachers, parents, and my dear friends. It's another special day in our college as we celebrate the Feast of St. Peter for the year 2023. To proceed with the program, we shall we shall now witness the felicitation of 10 of our scouts who have brought glory to the school by being awarded the highest honor at school level, which is the President's Award. This is a historical event. as this is the first time in the history of Sri Lankan Sea Scouts Association that 10 scouts from the same school have been pinned as the President's Scouts. The college offers her heartfelt gratitude to the teachers who have been behind them, Mrs. Suneri Fernando and Mr. Sherwin Pereira, the teachers in charge, and Mr. Roy Fernando, the instructor. And special thanks to our rector, who has been the pillar of our strength. My dear scouts, you are precious, not only to our school, but also to our country. I respectfully invite His Excellency, the Most Reverend Dr. Brian Udagwe, the Apostolic Nuncio to Sri Lanka, to give away the token of appreciation. And also, I invite Reverend Father Bayadarshana Pereira, the rector, to present the bouquets of flowers to these outstanding students of our college. They will be accompanied by Mr. Sherwin Pereira and Mrs. Sunil Fernando, the teachers in charge of the Sea Scouts. Now, I would like to call upon all the award winners on stage to receive your mementos. Master Ranit Arayala. Master Dasun Vidanage. Master Sahan Fernando.
Master Savindur Fernando. Ms. Thano Shida Silva. Ms. Natasha Fernando. Master Nimati Randolan will be pinned the President's Scouts badge by Reverend Father Rector of our college. Please stand for the Sea Scouts Oath. On my honor, I promise to do my best to do my duties on my religion and my country to help other people always and to obey the scout law. And may I invite His Excellency to present the token of appreciation to Master Nimuthu Vandalan. Please be seated. We have now another 
significant event. The former head board of prefects will lay down their responsibilities today, and the new head board will take it over. It's time to honor our outgoing head board of prefects of our college and appreciate their dedicated, excellent service rendered to the college whenever needed. I sincerely invite the outgoing head board on the stage. Master Shanit Pereira, Ms. Lakshima Apuhami, Master Nirusha Fernando, and Ms. Tanushi De Silva. Let us give a big applause to our outgoing head board of prefects. And my dear students, we believe that you all would continue with invite the new head of prefects to come on stage. Now, the new head board of prefects will deliver their prefects' oath. I, Osal Fernando, accept Promise sincerely, honestly, and loyally to uphold the traditions and the observe the rules and regulations of the college with the due integrity and humility. I will make every effort to direct others to observe them with due submission to the authority of the rector and direction and guidance of the tutorial staff both within the college and in the public eye. I promise to do my best to uphold the ideals of prefectship and to place service before self and never to let opposition or unpopularity deter me from doing what is objectively correct. I humbly seek the goodwill and cooperation of this assembly during my tenure. Of, year of office for this academic year 2023-2024. Therefore, I implore upon God to help me discharge my duties while emulating the supreme example of the Chief Shepherd, Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I call it in mind, the shepherd of the college, Reverend Father Dabarshana Pereira, to bless the pledges and pin them to the headboard of the prefects. Let us pray. God of light and love, your son led his followers by giving his life 
all the way to the end. As you mark the sign of the cross over these badges, may they represent the commitment and generosity of our prefects today. Bless these badges and all who wear them, while imitating your Son, Jesus Christ. May Almighty God bless these badges and prefects in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. introduce our new head board for the year, academic year 2023. The deputy head prefect of St. Peter's College, Columbia 4, Nigama branch is Master Ramiko Peters. Sandra Fernando. The head prefect of St. Peter's College, Nigambo branch is Master Osai Fernando. Master Shani Pereira and Ms. Lakshima Puhami to hand over the responsibilities to the newly appointed head prefects. Thank you, my dear students. We have approached the conclusion of this program now. Humbly in request His Excellency, the Most Reverend Doctor Brian Udegwe, 
the Apostolic Nuncio to Sri Lanka to accept the memento presented by the entire institution. I kindly request our Rector, Reverend Father Dadarshana, to make the presentation to His Excellency. Thank you, Your Excellency, and kindly be seated. I respectfully call upon our Rector, Reverend Father Dayadarshana Pereira, to propose a word of thanks. that has purpose and is in harmony and alignment with true virtues and conduct their affairs with purity of intention. We always tell them that life is full of material success is not the measure of happiness. We want them to never to become victims of circumstances but be responsible for every outcome of every action they perform. They ought to realize that true happiness is when their thoughts, words and actions are in perfect harmony and when they become men and women of integrity. Your Excellency, we wish that our students would excel in academics but we place a great emphasis on their spirit. Therefore, we celebrate Holy Eucharist every morning before the school begins because we know in depth that without the Holy Eucharist, our relationship with Christ could not achieve deep intimacy that every Christian should aspire for. We guide our students to engage in acts of charity and have a deep sensitivity for the poor and the forsaken. However, they must realize that charity is the expression of God and an extension of Christ's presence among us. Charity, as it teaches us, is not an ad hoc function, but the innermost nature of the church. Mother Teresa puts it, in our acts of charity, we only share God's love. Our endeavor in this institution is to nurture the full development of the person with a deep sense of human worth and dignity, who will create a global society based on priorities beyond materialism. Your Excellency, we are well aware that God has bestowed in you a spirit of true missionary and your life has been a life of sojourn. From Tiko in Cameroon, where you were born in 1964, to Oru in Nigeria, where you were ordained in 19, 1992, and since you entered the diplomatic service of the Holy See in 1994, your missionary service has expanded to Zimbabwe, the Ivory Coast, Haiti, Bulgaria, Thailand, United Kingdom, Seoul, Benin, Togo, and finally, on 13 June 2020, you got your holy obedience in Sri Lanka. 
We wish you a very pleasant stay in our picturesque land of Sri Lanka and carry with you the mes mesmerizing reminiscence of the breathtaking beauty of our motherland. We pray that the good Lord may continue to bless you with his love and may the light and guidance of the Holy Spirit be with you always. Once again, uh, Your Excellency, we are proud and we are happy you honored us by your presence today. We love you a lot. Shall we give a good round of applause for His Excellency? Thank you for the first word you uttered in your sermon. When you look at the audience today, look at the congregation today, you said they are holy and look like angels. Thank you for these beautiful words at the beginning of your homily. Now dear students and my dear teachers and my dear parents, please permit me to blend two other significant events of the day. You witnessed 10 of our sea scouts were awarded with the President Award, the highest honor that, an, that a scout can achieve in his or her life. We being a school in Nigambu are proud to say that Ms. Roy, Ms. Shelvin and Mrs. Suneri became the first teachers for them in the entire country to produce 10 President Scout in the category of Sea Scouts. So dear Scouts, you were trained under Ms. Roy, a father figure who loved you, you a lot, loved you a lot. He carried you in his arms and he was supposed to come on your shoulders to the college. But Ms. Roy, please carry out your honorable duties to the college from today onwards. There are hundreds and hundreds of scouts after them to become the president scouts. So please teach them, be a good instructor for them in the years to come. You look like old, but you are young because you have all potential even to climb the trees, even to run with them. So I thank you. Mr. Shelby and Mrs. Suneri, you are so precious to the staff. I know much of the commitments that both of you are shouldering. Despite being the good teachers of the college, inspiring teachers of the college, I want to thank both of you for the immense work that bo both of you are doing. Dear students, we, our clap is a cheer. Our clap is a motivation for them. I need your clap for three of these two also. So dear Scouts, be true to yourself and uh, be perfect always, not in words but in deeds. Now I turn to the head board of prefects, but permit me to salute all those four who have been the best and the best and the best of the head boards that I met in my life the college. I know that you love them a lot. You love them a lot. They have created an image in the college for history because all the activities they did, they knew from beginning to the end. They were responsible from beginning to the end and even after the event. They sacrificed a lot of 
time and they were so energetic. So I thank four of them. So I know they will continue to love and serve the college in the days to come. The new head board of prefects look after the college. Be the bridge between the students and the teachers. You showed many responsibilities, but never forget that you should do your studies too. So dear new head board of prefects, I want to appreciate and congratulate on your appointment and be with the others always. Now finally, this is also a surprise. Our girls basketball team have entered to the finals today. So they are playing the final match today. It is up to you to give a gift to the college on the college day. The match is in the evening. If you become champions, there is going to be a gift to the college on the 20th anniversary of the college. May I have you all standing up from your seats. The team, so not, not the, 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 the girls in the basketball team, please. Get up from your seats. So they will be fighting in the evening. They have good stamina. They, are, they have good coaches. They have good teachers. This is the first time that the, we are entering into the finals. On the same day that we are celebrating the college day, I believe that when you come to the college back in the evening, you will bring the most precious gift to the college, the trophy. Shall we, in cheering them, shall we give a good clap for them? So may I invite uh, Mr. Roy, Mrs. Suneri, and Ms. Shelving on stage, please. So we have a token of appreciation to be given to, to these three personalities. They are the backbone of each and every student uh, who reach highest award in their life. These are my last words. I want to thank Father Shalindra, who beautifully blended each department uh, for a beautiful uh, college day. I thank all the teachers who shoulders, who shouldered uh, the heaviest responsibilities together with them, the prefects and all the others, the parents too. I appreciate the presence of the SDS and the executive com committee members the parents of the President's Counts and all the other dignitaries. And I thank the Reverend Sisters who came uh, on their own way to be with us. Now, dear students, finally, this is your day. The schedule could be proceeded uh, if the weather permits us 
I believe we can. So as we have come to the conclusion, may I wish all of you, dear teachers and dear students, a happy feast day. Thank you and God bless you. Thank you, dear father, for your words. We have reached the end of this program and kindly stand for the final blessings. The Lord be with you. Blessed be the name of the Lord, now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go forth in peace. Thanks Thanks be to God. God.
glorious St. Peter, who in return for your strong and generous faith, your profound and sincere humility, and your burning love was rewarded by Jesus Christ. In particular, in particular, the leadership of the founders and the primacy of the revolution of which we are made the foundation for us. I will tell us of the grace of a lively friendship. Not here in its and in all its manifestations, even to the shedding of blood, if occasion should demand it and to sacrifice of life and self Ten for us likewise a sincere loyalty to our Holy Mother, the Church. Grant that we may ever remain most closely and sincerely united to the Roman Pontiff, who is the heir of your faith and of your authority the one true visible head of the Catholic Church, that mystic arc outside of which there is no salvation. Grant moreover that we may follow in all humility and meekness her teaching and her advice and may be obedient to all her precepts in order to be able here on earth to enjoy a peace that is sure and undisturbed and to attend one day in heaven to everlasting happiness. Amen. Pray for us, St. Peter the Apostle, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. O God, who has given unto your blessed apostle Peter the keys to your kingdom of heaven and the power to bind and lose, grant that we may be delivered through the help of his intercession from the slavery to all our sins who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
May I have your attention? Uh, dear 